Good evening, Beach Bluff Baptist Church children. I hope you're having a wonderful, great uh, day today. The sun is shining. It's wonderful out here today. And, um, you know, we are talking about seeds. You know, in here, in this cup, I have a bunch of bird seed. But in reality, bird seed is just a bunch of different kinds of seed. And uh, what we're going to be looking at today is we're talking about in open up your bibles to matthew chapter 13 okay in matthew chapter 13 it talks about this jesus talked about a parable and it said a farmer went out to sow his seed and as he was scattering the seeds some fell along the path and the birds came and ate it up now the paths that we're talking about you know are probably look like this if you can pan down and, and show the ground. You see how they're kind of rocky right there and, and, and things like that? That's what the paths would look like. They didn't have sidewalks like we have today, but they have sidewalks and pathways like this that are kind of firmed up by little rocks and things like that. Now, let me see if I can show you an illustration of some seeds fell in the path and the birds came to eat it up. Here, watch this. Chicky, 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 chick. Here you go, chick, 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 chick. Chickies! Chickies, look! Look, chickies! Look, chickies! Come on, chickies! Pan down here. Here, chicky, 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 chicky! Here! Here, chicky, 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 chicky! Here, chick, 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 chick! Come on! There you go, chicky girls! There you go, girls! There you go, ladies! Mmm, look at that! You see how they're gobbling up those seeds like that? I'll tell you, we'll, 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 hey, we'll let the ladies eat right there, okay? But this is what scripture is talking about. When God lays down seed in your life, sometimes we let things come in like these chickens and just pick up those seeds. And what I mean by that is this. You know what? There are so many people that you have in your life, like Sunday school teachers, like Wednesday night teachers, like, like Sunday during worship time and things like that. There are so many times in your life that people tell you God's truth, that, that they plant God's seeds in your life, like you are loved and that, that someone loves you more than anything that's out there. In that you are, you can be forgiven for, by by God for all the things that you have done wrong through Jesus, and and they tell you those truths in your life. But for some reason, when someone says, "Hey, listen, listen, I'm gonna, I, I, I want you to know that you are loved. I want you to know that you can be forgiven. I want you to know that that all these truths that are in God's word." And they, they, they plant that in your heart and they let you know about these things. You let people around you and you let circumstances around you kind of snatch that away. You know, when they say that you are loved and someone said something mean about you, you sit there and go, well, there's no way that someone can love me if I'm like this. Or maybe you do something wrong and you say, there's no way, there, there's no way that, that God can forgive me because I've done so much wrong things. You know what that is? That's allowing the world and Satan to come and snatch what God is trying to teach you right out of your heart. Because you are loved and you can be forgiven. And there's so many truths that God is trying to lay down in your life, the seeds that he's planting. And he's using your Sunday school teachers. He's using your parents. He's using your, your the, the me on Sunday morning during children's church and or, or no, I'm sorry during the service. He's using the children's church ladies to, and gentlemen to to come and to plant that seed in your life. Take hold of that seed. Don't let anything in this world snatch that seed away from you. Always remember God's promises. Promises like he loves you. Promises like he's here to forgive you. Promises that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Promises that he's bigger than any circumstance in this world. And you take those seeds and you put them in your heart and you keep them in there. You don't let, you don't let the, the, the animals you know, sit there and, and eat them up. God's laying them down, okay? Don't you, let, don't you let anything in this world take them away from you. Always remember, God loves you, 
and all the promises that are in the scriptures. Chickies don't like the dog. But uh, anyways, hey, know that I miss you guys. Remember that I always love you. And if there's any time you ever want to just talk, pick up the phone and call me. Talk to me. I'd love to hear each from each and every one of you just to say hi or something like that. Know that I love you. Know that I care for you. And I can't wait to come back to church with you. You have a great night. All right. Bye-bye.